Hi, Jamie here from The Head Teacher. Let's have a look at why you need crypto wallets. To trade any cryptocurrency, you first need a wallet to store them in. Wallets are exactly as they sound. They, they're like a crypto bank account. Crypto wallets are necessary for getting into Bitcoin or any other digital asset. Before you consider trading cryptocurrency on an exchange or buying cryptocurrency from a broker, you'll need to understand what a cryptocurrency wallet is and how it works. An important factor to understand is that wallets are simply a secure window into the blockchain so you can view your records and your transactions. It's a bit like a, an email account where your wallet is your email, login and password. But you don't actually store them yourself, you are only accessing them. Your transactions and tokens are saved on a blockchain, which we talked about in a previous video. And this is distributed across a vast network. It's always there, even if you lose your wallet. You just won't be able to access or do anything with your tokens without it. A cryptocurrency wallet consists of two elements, a private key and a public address. A cryptocurrency holder uses their private key to access their wallet. This private key is all that is needed to access a wallet. So if it falls into the wrong hands, it's likely that the funds it contains will disappear forever. A public address is provided to other cryptocurrency users in order to receive funds and generally provide as text or as a QR code, QR code or quick response code. It is a two-dimensional barcode. A QR code consists of black colored squares which are placed in a square shape on a white background. Cryptocurrency wallets are specific to the cryptocurrency that is stored inside them. Put simply, a cryptocurrency wallet allows a crypto holder to become their own bank. It's important to remember, however, that becoming your own bank leaves you responsible for the security of your own capital. Every wallet has its own unique address. If you trade on three or four different exchanges, you'll have a different wallet and address for each exchange and for each token. Much like having different website addresses. These are currently very long. They're a set of characters called a hash. To be able to send tokens between wallets, you will first need to copy the receiving address and then enter this address into the recipient field when sending. Again, I'll go over this in another blog. Wallets largely come in, in two forms, hardware-based and software-based. Hardware crypto wallets are the most secure method of storing cryptocurrency. Instead of storing private keys on a computer or a smartphone where they are susceptible to hacking attacks, hardware wallets keep private keys secure on a dedicated device and never reveal them, even to the user. There are currently two hardware wallets dominating the crypto market at this time, the Ledger, Nano S and the Trezor. These are like USB sticks and have their own form of security to access the currency or information in them. These hardware wallets exist to protect against hackers and are at the moment the safest place to store cryptocurrency. The Ledger Nano S is one of the most cost-effective hardware crypto wallets on the market today and is complete with a small OLED screen that can be used to confirm transactions and view balances. Each Nano S is complete with two hardware buttons that are used to confirm transactions, adding another layer of security. The Trezor is slimmer, is similar to the Ledger Nano S, but boasts a, a slightly larger screen and more complex security architecture. Like the Nano S, the Trezor is complete with two hardware buttons. Software wallets are currently very popular simply because they are free and more convenient. 
Software wallets are downloaded and installed on your computer, storing your private keys on your hard drive. By definition, they are more secure than online or mobile wallets as they don't rely on third parties for their data and are harder to steal. They are still connected to the internet, which makes them inherently insecure. However, desktop wallets are a great solution for those trading small amounts of Bitcoin or from, from their computers. There's a variety of different options of desktop software wallets that cater for different needs. Some focus on security, some on anonymity, and so on. Ultimately, the best solution for trading and holding cryptocurrency is a combination of software wallets and hardware wallets. Move cryptocurrency from your hardware wallet to a software exchange wallet when trading, and move it back when it's not in use. There are two or three other types of wallets, so have a look and see what best fits your needs. And there's a new um, Nano S wallet, which is just coming out at this time. There can be many problems associated with wallets and security, so always be careful. Double check everything before you push the go ahead button. Check all emails and their addresses before opening. Store all wallets somewhere safe and not on your computer. Use two factor authentication, 2FA, and always check your balances regularly. Please, don't keep this a secret. Like, subscribe and share this with your friends and families. Now we have to head your own future to look after ourselves and then we can help, be able to help others and to teach others as well. So until next time in wealth and wellness, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher.